What's going on, everybody? So a lot of people have been asking me my take on the coronavirus as a cop, my take on the coronavirus as a human being, and my take on the coronavirus as a snake breeder, how it affects us you know, across the board. So today's video is a little off topic, but I'm gonna get into my opinion on this whole situation. All right, guys, so there's a few things I want to cover today. First and foremost, you're new to the channel. My name is Baker. It's uh, Blue Line Morphs. We're a new up-and-coming breeder slash uh, YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, etc. I always try to respond back to everybody. I'm constantly on my phone, which kind of gets me in trouble working with my girlfriend. But I try to respond back. We're trying to build this thing. We're trying to keep this going. So hit the notification bell. I post daily or I'm trying to post daily. Um, obviously, this video is about the coronavirus. So in the upcoming weeks, I don't know how often I'll be able to post. I'm gonna try to keep it coming at least daily. Um, but if not, you can definitely get in contact with me on Instagram, blue underscore line underscore morphs. I'm always on there. I post on there daily. Uh, I talk on there daily. I well, the talk. I talk on there daily. Uh, that's really it. So let's get right into this. So obviously we all know about this coronavirus situation. You know, a few people have been making videos about this and I just wanted to give my take. So first and foremost, this is purely my opinion, my opinion. This is nothing to do with my department. This has nothing to do with New York City. This has nothing to do with anybody else. I am not trying to convey any information for you guys. I am not interpreting information and giving it to you guys. This is purely my opinion and from what I've seen in my own experiences. So the first part I want to first part I want to cover is just like the supply issue uh, for your reptiles and yourself, and then also get into just I guess human nature and how people have been responding, and my experience going shopping over uh, over the weekend with my father. So obviously, guys, I don't know about you, but when I go, I, I go to Walmart like once every three four months, and I stock up on everything. If you go in my closet, I have ten deodorants, ten mouthwashes, ten this, ten that, including cleaning supplies. Now, I know a lot of people don't use the same substrate as I do. I use the unprinted newspaper, which you can go to Staples and pick up for like 15 bucks, but also the cleaning supplies. I use Clorox. I also use that like yellow Windex stuff. It's like the, the all purpose cleaner. Um, I've been stocking up on that guys. I've always stocked up on that. I have five or six bottles of each. So I'm really not worried about that because we do want to keep our reptiles clean. Um, also, most importantly, your substrate. If you guys are using Let's always be always be like on top of shit, right? It's the easiest way to put this. Like everyone's freaking out from this situation. If you're on top of it to begin with, this wouldn't be a problem. So as far as your substrate, maybe in times like this, let's switch over from cocoa or aspen or the things you have to actually have to purchase and switch over to like the unprinted newspaper or just newspapers you've collected over time for your snakes. This will you know have less burden on you and ultimately you don't have to worry. It's one less thing to worry about essentially, right? Now, when it comes to your snakes, fortunately, or any reptiles really, they can go a couple months without eating, so it's really not that big of a deal. But we don't know how long this is going to last for or how serious it's gonna, it's gonna uh, become. So I recommend, obviously I've done feeding videos on live feeds and also frozen thawed. Now, obviously I don't like frozen thawed, you guys saw that the other day, but you're probably not gonna be able to get rats all the time. Now, let's say, for example, they start shutting down the, these pet stores. If you don't have frozen thawed in your refrigerator, you're pretty much shit out of luck. Now, again, if a couple months goes by, it's really not that big of a deal because you snakes can last a while without eating. But right now, guys, when it's shit's really still not popping off, I would suggest maybe let's start purchasing some frozen rats. Obviously, if you have huge collections. I don't have to tell you, but there's various websites you can go on and you can just, you know, you, you can order while we can still order stuff through the mail, FedEx and so forth and so on. Why don't we order some of these rats? Let's stock, get a refrigerator or fridge in your house or freezer. Let's stock up on some of these rats. You owe it to your animals to be prepared for that. You owe it to be prepared for cleaning supplies. You don't want them in dirty tanks. Um, obviously, you know, they poop like you saw in my other video. Like the snakes go to the bathroom. It is what it is. I just clean that tub, open it up to feed her. And, you know, there's a giant piece of shit there. Um, that is what it is. But let, let's, let's just stock up on supplies for our reptiles a little bit. Just cleaning supplies. Maybe switch over the substrate to something that's e more easy to get. Obviously, paper towels is a commodity now. Why? I don't know. But can we get some unprinted newspaper, collect some newspapers. And let's get some frozen rats in our, frizz, uh, in our, frizzes, in our freezers. Just be prepared in case this does, does extend longer. We can feed them. Now, as far as getting snakes shipped. Now, I know Jason from Exotic Reptiles uh, mentioned this. I just want to mention this also. 
obviously a lot of us sit on snakes, right? Like my buddy Ed is sitting on a really gorgeous snake. I'm not going to get into it just in case somebody else wants to buy it, but he's sitting on this snake. I'm like, just buy it, just buy it, just buy it, just buy it. Now, if you're sitting on a snake that's 1300 bucks, 1500 bucks, thousand dollars, and you're waiting for it to go down a couple hundred dollars because you know, you're trying to haggle with them, let it sit there. Now it's not the time to do that. And let's be honest, if you can't afford the extra two, three hundred dollars, you should be looking at a thousand dollar snake to begin with. I don't know your situations, but I know my situation, you know, two or three hundred bucks is not gonna make or break me. So before they start shutting down these FedEx routes or these overnight reptile shipping, if you're sitting on a snake, you're sitting on a reptile, let's buy this thing now or let's make arrangements to get it now. With that being said, if you're meeting up with people on Craigslist, I wouldn't be doing that right now, all right? Or, or at least make it very minimal, um, just because you don't know, okay? You don't know who's got it, and maybe you don't want to get it. Um, so yeah, just be, just be aware of that. Food, buying snakes now, so forth and so on. Now, as far as stocking up on supplies, uh, actually, I'll get into that in a second. I'll tell you my experience in Walmart, but I don't, I'm not a doctor, guys, okay? I am not a doctor. I, you know what I do for a living. I'm just a dumb cop. I am not a doctor. So as far as my understanding is, as long as you're a healthy adult, you really have nothing to worry about. Now, if this has affected your loved ones or you know somebody's passed away or they're sick with it, my sympathies, I'm not, not, I'm not talking shit about them at all, okay? But realistically, unless you're an infant or you're older and you're sick, you should be okay. So why are we all freaking out? Now, I understand that it, it, it's bouncing person to person. That's just because it's a different strain of, the, of some sort of virus. And it's, it's, it was an upper respiratory infection. You're going to get a fever. You're going to cough a little bit. You're going to sniffle. Go home for 10 days. Take antibiotics. Keep your fluids up. Be clean. Don't be a dirt bag. And you, sh you should be good to go. Now, I understand. Again, I'm not a doctor. That's my opinion. Um, I understand people that are older are more susceptible or have pre-existing uh, sicknesses or injuries. I totally get that. And take precaution, right? Don't be a retard. Don't be an idiot. Like, don't go out to the bar. Don't do this. Don't do that. With that being said, they shut the gym down on me. My precinct gym's getting shut down. I'm going to be doing push-ups in the corner like an inmate for the next fucking month. But whatever. So let's get into, like, my experiences with, like, how people have been acting with this pandemic or epidemic. Or it's a pandemic now because it's worldwide. So everyone's been freaking out about toilet paper and paper towels and, and canned goods. And Listen, be prepared. But let's not be an idiot, right? I mean, there's a great meme on Facebook that talks about how, um, of course, the government's not going to tell us about aliens. We can't even handle, like, a cold, right? So I went to Walmart, and I, again, I do this every three or four months. I just buy five of this, 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 even if I'm not out of it, just so my closet's always full. I don't have to worry about it. I, I, as a kid, like, there's a couple of rough nights or rough moments where, like, you know, you run out of heat oil, you'd run out of fucking soap or whatever the case may be, or toilet paper. And like, I never want to experience that again. So I always make sure I got oil. I always make sure I got water. I always make sure I got food. I always make sure I got like supplies to last. So I went there just to do my every couple months, like routine I always do. And as I walk in there, these lines are ridiculous. People are buying shit they wouldn't normally buy. You can see it that, you know, a thousand, not a thousand, but 50 cans of fucking beans, 50 cans of this, 50 cans of this. I bought my usual like nonsense that I always buy, like food wise, milk, eggs, you know, yogurt, stuff like that. But then I'm going to be honest with you, looking around and seeing all these people buying all this stuff and freaking out over this kind of caused me to go into a frenzy. I'm like, I bought some stuff I normally don't buy. All right. I bought some canned goods I normally don't buy just because I like fell into the trap. And I think as humans, we have to be aware of this. So listen, at the end of the day, this stuff has always happened, right? We've always had pandemics. We've always had sicknesses, all right? Maybe some, like the Black Plague, you know, a few hundred years ago is a big, big example of that. But throughout time, we've always had airborne illnesses, uh, situations like this. And the reason why it's sensationalized now is we have the media, we have networking, we have the internet where it can get to you quickly. This shit's been happening, guys. It just now, it, it's exploited by the media because let's face it, they have nothing better to talk about, right? The news is no longer about the news, about current events, good and bad. It's just about shit just to fuck with you and scare you and make you go and buy things. And then you have to look, who is this derived from, right? Who are we getting this information from? All these news stations are owned by people, okay? They're owned and they have their own agendas. They have their own um, suppliers. They, they have their own agenda they have to push on us. 
So the question begs this too. Are these pharmaceutical companies making the media push this and all of a sudden, hey, listen, I got a shot now, 400 bucks a pop, it'd be good? I don't know. But as human beings, we need to slow the fuck down. We need to slow down and relax, right? There's, there's, there's so many pictures on YouTube or Instagram or social media, Facebook, where older people are trying to shop and they're older and they're the ones that need the supplies. And you got some fat slob pushing, you know, a thousand cans of beans past them and this old woman just wants fucking toilet paper. It's ridiculous. We're human beings, be it in America or England or wherever you're breeding, wherever you're watching this from. Listen, we're all human beings. Get your shit together. Listen, I'm not saying don't be supplied. At the end of the day, I'm a redneck, right? I grew up hunting. So worst case scenario is they shut down. I'll go in the woods. I'll kill a deer and I'll eat for a week. And all you city boys that make fun of me for hunting, well, it's on jokes on you now. But I'm not saying don't be, don't be prepared. Don't be supplied up. Don't be ready for your reptiles. Don't be ready for your family. Just be smart, right? Don't be an idiot. Don't fall into the masses. Don't be a sheep. Listen, get some water, get some milk, get some yogurt, get some rice. You'll be good to go, right? This too shall pass, guys. This too will move on. But until then, be prepared. Maybe stock up on a little ammo just in case, all right? Get some food in the house. Get some water in the house. Get some rats for your snakes. And this just wait it out. Stop freaking out like it's the end of the world, all right? That's the end of my rant. Um, that's it, guys. Listen, let's not shut down our entire society over the fucking flu, all right? That's what it comes down to. Now, again, I understand people get sick. People are passing away. I'm not being unsympathetic. I'm not talking shit about them. Every situation is different. But for the most part, our country seems to be like shutting down and freaking out. And I, I just, I don't see why. And as a police officer, I just don't see why. The, the way people act, like, all right, I'm not done with this video. So the way people act, I, I've seen the root of all evil with things. And I've seen bad people at their worst. And shit like this seems to bring out the worst in people. When it should bring out the good. And I'm not giving some rah-rah bullshit speech like in a movie. But this is the reality. Like we are all human beings. Whether you're black, white, Chinese. Well, Chinese started this. But no, I'm kidding. But whatever you are, we all are human beings. So instead of bringing out the worst of us where you're hoarding shit. Why don't we just all work together get through this quickly. Have a couple bonfires. Have a couple, you know, barbecues. And we'll keep this thing moving, guys. So just be careful. You know, buy some supplies. Be ready for your, your snakes and, and your... your and yourselves and your families, but let's not be complete, you know, degenerates. Not let's not be complete assholes and take advantage of people and hurt people and look out. To, you know, this is for somebody your neighbor over, right? Love thy neighbor, guys. Let's keep this thing moving. Until next time, guys. Yeah, you know, don't be a dick. All right, be safe. Always remember, watch the six.